Hey, it was decent. It's so good to be back on here. I have been busy. If you guys have noticed, I'm married now. Me and Jessica went on our honeymoon and we went to Cancun. It was amazing. Historical event and we also visited some tropical beaches and stuff like that. You know, stuff that honeymooners should really do. Had a whole bunch of fun. So this is my day back. Ironically, is the last day for Battle Spot for the 6v6 and all items. So I'm just trying to make a last stand here. I'm going to lead off with my Thunder. As you guys did see, go for the Focus Blast thinking that he was going to switch on to Blitzy and then go for the Vault Switch. Now he switches out his Gothitelle thinking that he could probably set up, but now I do have a kind of a Vault Turning setup. I kind of switch between Gengar and Greninja from time to time because Greninja has a U-turn. But now I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball, hence him not wanting to stay in hit whatever comes in. I'm thinking it was Blissey initially, but not really. I could have actually switched right back out into Gothitelle. But that's a little bit too obvious because if I did that into Gothitelle, as he brings back in Blissey, that's good game right there because I can potentially time stall. And speaking of time stalling, that is right now what literally like i believe 95 percent of the parties that are participating in this competition carry at the moment is time stall and they're like three forms of time stall now you don't even have to have gothitelle anymore so it's like that's crazy like everybody's freaking time stalling so i kind of have to but not really i have like three teams i can use i don't have to time stall myself but i can it's an option so now I'm just going to go and switch out into my Thunderous as he brings back in the Gothitelle trying to trap in my Clefable. I have no idea why he keeps trying to do that because Clefable actually beats Gothitelle. Unaware of Clefable, if he just wants to set up the Calm Minds and stuff like that and go for the rest, he's just actually giving me free Calm Minds. I'm ignoring his special defensive increases. So he can Calm Mind all he wants to. He could have probably noticed that after I've taken damage from the Stuff Rocks that I'm not quite Magic Guard. So he's going to go for the Calm Mind again. I'm supposed to go for the Side Shot which intrigues me is like okay I don't know why you're doing that you're probably overestimating your Gothitelle and underestimating Clefable either or or you're just not knowledgeable of Clefable's hidden ability so he's just gonna call mine again and I was actually thinking that he was gonna go for the rest or like probably switch I was trying to get some damage off on it while it is asleep which was my train of thought hence me going for a moon blast I suppose I'm going for a secondary call mine but he just goes for a plethora of calm minds and I have no clue why you just wasted your Gothitelle like that so Gothitelle is out of the way and I won't have to deal with that plus I'm plus two at the moment he's gonna bring in the zoom room I do have a Moongus, which serves a great purpose because now that his Gothitelle is out of the way, even if a Moongus was to come into play and he has a Gothitelle, a side shot coming from those amount of EV investments that are plugged into time selling Gothitelle aren't enough to finish off the Moongus. I can get off a nice little Gastro Acid and switch out and recover HP with my Regenerator, but now I'm bringing my Gothitelle, which is great, and that actually means good game right I want to thank everybody for joining me with the Journey to Elite Season 5 Battle Spot series that you guys have been watching thus far. I appreciate all of your support. It is very meaningful to me. So thank you again. And I'll see you guys in Season 6. Peace. What you doing?